Okay, steady state approximation. So what is steady state approximation? It's a very useful tool to that uh, many students use, uh, researchers, chemists, they all use to determine the kinetics of very um, multi-step processes. Right, so it's a very important tool. You use it very often in the Olympiads. So make sure you master this. So the how what is this steady state approximation exactly? Let's say you have a reaction. Maybe A plus B gives you C. Right, then maybe this um maybe not C, maybe I, the intermediate. Okay, then I reacts with another reactant C and gives you your product. Right, so yes. Uh, generally, in multiple steps, you will have the formation of a certain intermediate. It can be one or more intermediates. So what happens is, let's see if I want to draw the graph. Maybe I'll draw it here. So when you first start the reaction, generally you will form some intermediate. But then for this steady state approximation, you assume that as time passes, after the first part, after the initial induction period, so after a while, the rate of change of concentration of all intermediates will be negligibly small, which means after that, the concentration of intermediates will tail off and remain about the same. Okay, so in equation-wise, change in intermediate over time is equal to zero. So this works for all kinds of intermediate, whether it's whether you have one, two, three, or more. Okay, so to better understand how to apply this thing, let's look at an example. Right, so devise the rate law for the decomposition of N2O5 according to this equation on the basis of the following mechanism. So let's see how it works. Huh? Right, so first step we need to find the intermediate. So intermediate is basically something which is not the reactants nor the products. So the reactants are N2O5, products NO2O2. So you need to find something which is not any one of them. So let's look at it, N2, 5, NO2, this one, NO3. So this is an intermediate. So let's mark out all the NO3s, you get this tree. Let's look for any more, just to double check. NO2, N2, 5, NO2, NO2, O2, NO. So this NO doesn't exist at all. So this is another intermediate. So let's mark it out, maybe in red. So NO, and the other NO over here. Now you check, there's only two intermediates, that's all. So next step, you need to create the steady state equations. So state, create the steady state equations for the intermediates. So in this case you have NO3. So let's do it with NO3 first. So the rate of change of the intermediate NO3 over time is equal to zero. Right, that's the steady state equation, but let's look at its formation and um, decomposition. So NO3 is formed from the first reaction. So the first step you have Ka times N Two o five. Right, so that's basically formation of NO three. So the second part, second part, you lose NO three because it's being decomposed. So you minus because there's a negative change in concentration of NO three. So minus K A prime NO two and NO three. Okay, so next part for the third step, you also lose NO three. So minus K B NO two. NO3. Okay, holding equals to zero. Right, so that's your first steady state equation step. Right, so after that, you need to make your intermediate the subject of the equation. So NO3. So NO3 is equals to Ka N205 divided by K. A prime NO2 plus KB NO2. Okay, so that's how you get it. One thing, if you want to make things more simple, you can always group the KA prime and KB together. Yep. Okay, so that's maybe to give it more space, I'll just write it up here. So NO3. C equals to Ka N205 over Ka prime over K prime. Let's erase it. Plus Kb N02. 
right? That's the first part. Okay, so now let's go on with the NO. Let's go on to the second intermediate NO. Okay, so same thing, you need to create the same equation and then make NO the subject of the equation. Okay, keep certain stuff here. Okay, so now the change in concentration of NO. Same thing, uh, in the third step, you form NO. So it will be Kb times NO2 times NO3. You lose NO in the fourth step, so minus Kc NO N2O5 equals to zero. Okay, to make NO the subject, you will just get NO equals to Kb times NO2 times NO3 divided by Kc N2O5. Okay, that's it. Alright, so that's the nice second equation. So let's put it on top. Alright, so NO is equals to KB NO2 NO3 over KC N2O5. That's it. Okay, so let's move on to the last part. So now that you have all the steady state equations for the first two um, equations, let's do the final part to get the final answer. So in this case, look back at your question. You're devising the rate law for the decomposition of N205. So you need to find the change in concentration of N205. Okay, so my rate is equals to so N205 need to mark it out N205 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 is being decomposed on the first step so rate equals to Ka N205 second step you gain N205 but that's the reverse of decomposition so you put minus Ka prime NO2 NO3 Okay, in the fourth step, you decompose N205 again, so plus Kc NO N205. Like this. Okay, so before you complete your rates, you need to make sure that you don't have any intermediates. So intermediates are those like NO3 and NO over here, so you need to replace them. So let's replace NO3 first. Replacing NO3 okay, with the green one on top. So you get K N205 over K A prime plus K B N02. Oh N02 cancels out. That's nice. Okay, so I just raise it. Okay, so that's the this part. Okay. Then replace N O. So you actually replace NO with the red one. So replacing NO with the red one, you just have KB NO2 times NO3. Then over KC N205, so you divide, so you remove the KC N205. Remove KC and N205. Okay. Now that you're done with this thing, you realize that at no 3 is also an intermediate, so you need to replace this one as well. So replacing it, you get Ka N205 divided by Ka prime plus Kb divided by NO2. So you remove the NO2 again. Okay, so you get this. Alright, so now to make things nice, you need to make the denominator the same. So k prime plus kb. Alright, so you make this have the same denominator. So I put this. So k a prime plus kb. This thing will become. The one will become. So k a times n205. k a times n205 becomes k a k prime. N205 
plus k a k b and o five. Okay, so hopefully it's uh this is quite hard to see. Let me just reposition the things. Hmm, like this. Okay, so it's easier to see. Alright, so now that everything is the same denominator, let's just do some cancelling out. So let's see. Uh. So K A prime K A N205. K A prime K A N205. Cancel out. Okay. And these two are the same thing. K, K, B, N, 2, 5. K, K, B, N, 2, 5. So there will be two of it. Equals to 2, K, A, K, B, N, 2, 5. Okay. Over K, A prime. Plus K, B. Okay. So that's it. So that's the rate for this reaction. It is a first order reaction. Right, so be sure to master this. It will be useful for you in the Olympics, whether it's the Singapore Chemistry Olympiad or International Chemistry Olympiad or whatever um, Olympiad you're taking in your residence, like your country. Right, so best of luck.